happy Monday, everyone. I'm excited to have Linda Hansen and Lee. Can't forget Lee in the background there as well. Uh, say hi, guys. Hello. All right. They're just getting the comments to pop up on their device. So make sure to jump on, say hi, let us know where you're joining us from for today's crafting episode. Um, it looks like a really fun page, a lot of fun scrapbooking that's going to happen here as we create together. Are you seeing those? Are you seeing the comments, Linda? Is it? Pop yes, I just had one. Lisa, hello from Oregon. Perfect. Lisa, awesome. Um, yeah, for uh, what is skateboarding day, correct? Am I right? Yes, skateboarding day. And and um, when I when I saw it was open, it's like I. I think I have some skateboarding pictures of my grandson. If you guys didn't know, today is officially skateboarding day. And uh, so for all those those uh, skateboarding memories or, or anything related to in that form, I have a couple pages of my kids at a skateboard park and just different things in their rollerblades and stuff, which is all star. The accessory is really fun for, but hopefully you find inspiration to, to celebrate today in one way or another by being inspired. All right, well, I'm gonna turn the time over to you, Linda. So we okay, can... thank you, Susan. And it might say recording stopped because Zoom, I don't know if I told you that yet, they started a new thing, but just ignore it, so. Okay. <laughs> That's good, okay, bye guys. All right, bye, thank you. Well, guys, we are so excited. Um, we are, oh, there it goes, okay. We are so excited because, um, it's a great day when you can Kiwi Lane, use anything with Kiwi Lane. Um, many of you know, we have six grandchildren and our eldest, he's gonna be 14 this in a few days here coming up. July. July, well, that's just right around the corner. And um, he, when we went out to North Dakota to see him, he showed me his skateboard. Now, um, this boy has different kinds of skateboards that I have never heard of, shortboard, longboard, and I don't even remember the other one, but uh, he he's uh, he's he's not a pro, but he is Nana's pro. And then after we get done with this page, I am going to show you his other little talent. How many of you have heard of finger skateboarding? Well, this he is really good at this. And I sat and watched him do this probably for at least an hour. And uh, we even FaceTime and he, uh, <laughs> he, he'll do it on FaceTime. And so anyway, I'm gonna let you know what we're using tonight. Let's say hello here first to some people. Um, wow, look at here, we got Sharon again, two Sharons, Nikki's on and Regina from Arkansas and hello, Joni and Mary. And Detra Coley from Kentucky, Karen. West Kentucky. Oh, West Kentucky. Oh, excuse me. And Karen, and there's Carrie and Trisha. Hello. I'm so glad you all could join us tonight. Uh, just a little bit of business too. I'll be on again tomorrow night using the one of the new placemats and the uh, ruffled edges card borders or tiny borders as we now call them. So that's going to be fun too. I've got a couple different layouts plus a bonus tomorrow. I am going to show you how to make an alligator out of one of our border templates. So, all right, here we go. Tonight I am using the uh, one of the a la carte borders that came in one of our monthly kits. Let me get the name of it. It's called Born to be Awesome. It's the one that had the little bear and like the, the street sign. So the only difference is I've got the A on this side and the B on this side. So we take these off. So this is it, it's called a la carte cliffhanger. There's one B and one A is over here, okay? Now, I am doing something a little different too. I'm adding a scallop. I love those big hills and it kind of gives it a little bit of softness to the page. So I've got, the large scallops 3B, and I'm using chevrons 2B to accent it up. Now, if you've never used a scallop and a chevron together, it is really fun. And uh, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. We've got the scallop 
And yeah, you're rotating yeah. 90 degrees, so you're at the top of the other page. Yep. And then here is the chevrons 2A. Then I used rings two and three. I also used two stars from the adventure set. It is adventure one and adventure two. That's a really fun set. Then I also have accents four. Now I know that some of our templates are going to be put back in the vault. So if this one is still available, I, I didn't get a chance to look, but um, accents is a great one to get. And I know that I think it's going back in the vault. And then we have all star number seven, and I'm using all star number two, the skateboard. And that's gonna go right down here. Now the pictures I have, I've got a four by five, two three by threes, and three three by fours, okay? So that is what we are going to, uh, I'm gonna show you what I did with this. Then afterwards, I show you this, we're gonna make that second layout using some of these exact templates. I wanna show you how easy it is to uh, make different layouts with the same templates. And there's a secret I'm gonna share. Her second layout has not done Nope. She hasn't done it. So this is going to be done kind of on the fly. So it's going to be a true <laughs> test yes, to I, show how creative you can be without pre-planning. Yep. This one you have given some this thought. This one to. I have given some thought. The other one, I haven't. Um, some of you may have read my post. Lee lost his brother um, here about a week ago on the 13th. <laughs> on the 13th and uh, he was 53 years old and he passed away from colon cancer. So um, we have been up in Illinois, up around Sterling Rock Falls and up there for his uh, cremation celebration of life. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna get a coffin fit. I get a coffin fit every time I go on. Don't know why, but here we go. You ready to see it? <coughs> Here's page one. And page two. Two. All right, so here, this one and this one is our cliffhangers. The green is our scallop. This here is our chevron. And this black strip was on the end of the paper where it has all the writing. So, <coughs> sorry guys. So it has all the writing. So I cut it off, flip it over and use it as a strip. Here's our ring, and I use the inside of the ring. I left this solid, but I use the inside of the ring to make cut the picture out. Here is rings two. Here are your two stars from the adventure. Of course, our four by five, our two three by threes, the accents. This is from All Star, All Star Seven, and three by fours. <coughs> and then here's your skateboard. And I used another star over here. Why don't you let me talk just a Okay, go for it. I'll get a drink. <laughs> uh, Trisha, thanks a lot. She said, sorry to hear. And Mary said, so sorry. Uh, love the colors, Kathy said. So the colors do look really pop out there a lot. So Joni, um, appreciate that. And uh, our, our grandson, of course, in North Dakota, <laughs> as you can imagine, up in the area where they are, they are north of the Roosevelt National Park, the north part of the park. And so there's a few trees in the county, but not many. It's pretty yeah. flat, as you can see on some of the pictures. So yeah, you have this to is out their yard. <laughs> find, find some old Nothing ways there. to uh, have fun. But there is a lot of color here. And again, the little strip that goes across looks like a highway, the black strip where you did the stitching on. Mm -hmm. Now that came, you said, off of the, the black background. These are just solid black background sheets. And so you, yep. this was just cut off of that. Yep, that was it. All right, so I'm going to tell you where the papers come from. I just went to the scrapbook store and I actually asked for scrapbook or skateboard paper. There wasn't much to choose from. I don't know if skateboarding is not as popular, but okay. I found a couple of sheets. So here, this one is Scrapbook Customs, uh, www.scrapbookcustoms.com, okay? 
And the skateboarding, this one had uh, a solid back. It has, I tried to see if I could incorporate that, but it didn't work so good. We had enough busyness. So that was that one. You got to let the Kiwi Lane stand on its own. You don't need that. <laughs> then the one, that, this one here is actually a bunch of skateboards. I don't know if you can see that. This is also by Scrapbook Customs, Skateboard Addict. And on the back was the white that I used right here. Okay. And it says skateboarding. Then Bobby also said, love those colors together. <laughs> well, and good. thanks, Nikki, for the condolences. Bobby and Cami Rutledge. Awesome. All right. So this is, I don't know if you can tell, bowling paper. <laughs> this is from Moxie. This is bowling. So I used the green here with the scallops. And on the back, I used the orange for the chevron. All right. Oh, here's a better picture of it. You can see the bowl. I turned it that way. And then the green on the other side. Okay. And I will mention, like I have on others, after it's all done, she will post it. Yep. And she'll list all of the papers. She'll post each of the templates that she used. And anything else, if there's any bling or embellishments, she'll mention those too. And any other questions, so that you should be able to have all the information you would need if you want to try to re reconstruct or do it on your own accord and yep. modify as you would want. Yep. Okay, so this is another piece of bowling paper, but I wanted that side with the chevrons. I thought we are doing skateboarding. We are doing skateboarding. We are. So that is right here, this piece. Okay, one more. So you see me try to skateboard before, right? <laughs> no, I was like trying knocking, to, knocking roller skating things. is not your thing. So I would not think skateboard is either. Okay, so this is another, oh, I didn't tell you what this one was from. I think it's Moxie too. Yes, boxy. Okay, so then this one is also a bowling paper from Moxie. And this had that nice brown stripe, brown and black stripe that I used there and for the shirt. And then this here was another skateboard piece. This one is from Kaiser Craft. I'm sorry it's cut up here, but this is all I got left. And on this side, it had a bunch of sayings on it. So I took the sayings, if you can believe it, the mind can achieve it by Ronnie Lott. Then I did this one, I cut out, champions aren't made in the gyms, champions are made from something they have deep inside them. A desire, a dream, a vision from Muhammad Ali, the American boxer. And I also cut this out from the same page. And what is that? It's a skateboard. Oh, and then I took these, these little pieces, I'll zoom in on it when I post the pictures but these are the actual um things that are on top of his skateboard he got it from ron john surf shop in florida and this says believe it or not it says beer can boards i don't know if that means it's made out of beer cans i'm assuming it is so and then i cut out these little words and just kind of stuck them on our amazing young man champion winner best and Fairest. Yep. Yep. I'm going to grab something else here real quick. By the way, tell me about Gracie. How's she doing? Gracie has got teeth. <laughs> oh, piranha teeth, I call them. She's uh, just a little over three months old now. She's also a little over 20 pounds already. Yep. She's getting quite large. She's out in the crate taking a nap right now. Uh, or else she'd be in here causing havoc. I'm almost yeah. positive of it. <laughs> just a but little she's, bit. But she's doing really good. And for those that might not know, she's our reverse brindle, kind of boxer. black and colored boxer puppy. Yep. So anyway, then I got these. They're called Pops of Color. I got them from strap, scrapbook.com. This one is Pearl Cherry Pie. And this one's Pearl Orange Sherbet. Or, yeah, Sherbet. Okay. And then I what I did is I put little beads here and here of it and around the star, and then on the skateboard, because he has red wheels on his skateboard, so I did some red dots there. Then I just had a couple of little wooden pieces, some star pieces, and put that on. Did some fancy stitching with my silver pen, and my white pen, and my gold pen, and my black pen. And uh, that's my favorite thing to do. I love to doodle. So that's the one for tonight on the skateboard. 
but I thought we would do one together with the fingerboard. Like Lee said, now this is from scratch. This is, I've not laid anything out. The only thing I did do was grab a couple of other templates that I do want to use. I have Cascade Trails, 1B and 1A. The reason that I want to do that is because I want it to look like you'd be skateboarding. Yeah, there you go. That works. So let me find the pictures here. And this is kind of like along the rolling hills, right? Yep. So this, I don't know if you can see this or not. This is his skateboard we bought him. This is a finger skateboard. This is about, oh, about four, four or inches, inches, four or five inches at the most. And you buy every piece separate. You buy the board part, you buy the rod and the wheels are all separate. Axles. Yeah. yeah. And you're not gonna guess how much those little things cost. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can find it a little closer here. So here he is, he's playing with his fingerboard. Those little things are expensive. They can cost anywhere from $5 to $400 for a finger skateboard. Unbelievable. Didn't this so, come from Germany? Yes, this one come from overseas. So um, anyway, he was using his mom's Lazy Susan and he was doing tricks on that. And it's really interesting to see how he could flip it with just his little fingers. I love that picture. And uh, then his dad built him. It's uh, Max sent these to me this afternoon. He, he, I told him, I said, I need some pictures of, of your skateboard, your fingerboard stuff. But his dad built this ramp and it has like steps and it has uh, the bar, like the handlebar going down. And then he's got a, another little cement piece, real cement, it's heavy. And it makes it look like it's got a curb. Here it is too, a little curb. And then this is like a brick wall and that's like a brick wall. So I, I was just amazed at what you can do and get this. You can buy tennis shoes for your fingers to put on the skateboard. <laughs> How funny is that? Oh my gosh. So anyway, let's do some designing. I've already cut the pictures. So we just need to lay them down and put them together. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's do this. Can't you feel the buzz coming yeah, across can you the feel phone it? from Anybody? Her head? <laughs> All that thought process. Anybody have any questions or can you tell me what you're doing tonight? You're awful quiet out there. I can see a little smoke coming off your ears. Oh like my goodness. It's been a busy day. We took, uh, my daughter and three grandkids came down and we went to um, Mo's Taco Place for lunch. And then we went and painted pottery for the afternoon. So. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Is that how old our grandson had paint in his hair? Yep, he got orange paint in his hair. It was I fun. I saw that, I thought. Yep. So, and this one, oh, you're trying to catch up with two kids on my lap. Trying oh, to watch. Oh, oh trying to kids. watch. <laughs> so I will leave it up to you guys. We'll get ready to put this one down. But I think, I'm thinking maybe we could cut it out as a silhouette and just kind of stick it maybe over here. Um, so, but we'll see here. All right, let's see what we got over here for templates, what we can use. Oh, the rings. Definitely, we need to get a ring in there. And we gotta get some stars. Oh, this one's really nice too. Let's try that. Cassandra went and worked in her classroom today at the train uh, to get everything back out after uh, the summer cleaning. So she should come here and help you help. Clean. Oh, there you go. That would be wonderful. We got friends coming in from Texas. They're driving their motor home and then we're going to meet together and uh, go to South we're Dakota. going to South Dakota for some needed vacation. Lisa said she's recuperating from a nasty sunburn. Ooh. We used to put, um, hang on, was it Vicks Vapor of it? What was it? It was like in a jar of some kind. 
what was it we used to put on sunburns as a kid or parents did on us so it's not good i, I use coconut oil when i get burnt so okay sharon sorting completed pages to put into scrapbooks awesome we got another ring here to use let's see what we can do here maybe this thing can go over here cassandra said they're camping next week in an rv park all right and so then be fun and then we could do a title maybe finger skateboarding all right we've got we're just going to do plain and simple i really like that um i don't think i want to use these i think we'll just leave them let's go simple 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 what do I you always think? like chevrons I know you like the chevrons, but I want to use the Cascade Trails. So we have Cascade Trails 1A, 1B, All Star 2, Adventure 1 and 2, Rings 2 and 3, and we use the Accents 4. I like that, how it just kind of, I don't know if you guys can tell, but their points are perfect inside that. All right. On here every we go. other point. I do have the paper. This is from Close to My Heart. And there's this pretty blue, with a, looks like a blue quilt. I've got this black with white, black polka dot. Is that also close to my heart? This is all close to my heart. It is from the mix in May, June. And then we've got some tags. Oh, maybe we could put some of them in there. Some gray with white pinwheels. We've got brown, blue, different shades of blue and gray polka dots and some hearts. And then we've got some, it's like a wood background with white leaves and flowers. And these are like little bitty tiny chevrons. That's really nice. We've got a gray wood grain and that. I'm thinking about this one. This might become a nice journal one that we could use on a template. Might do that. We'll leave that one off to the side. So, well, I like the design. Let's see what we can do for paper. I think I like this black and we could put this on to make it look like it has the road. I like that. And we could probably use, let's see what we got. I kind of like this solid blue and let's just put that underneath. What do you guys think? You like that? With chevron? No chevron. Sorry. No chevron. Okay. So since we don't have an actual border below, you we're, could with the chevron. You're funny. Funny, funny. I think what I'm going to do is we'll start with this. Okay, so this is a dark piece. And see if I get my pencil, if it will trace. Usually I would do a slide, slide, flip here, but the back side is just as dark. So let's see. Yep, it's going to look silver. Love this pencil. It's the Tycoga one. Did any of you get one and try it? Oops, slipped. Okay, there's one. And then I'm going to lay it on top. And it's got to go that way. Maybe I'll run. You would have to flip. I know you would have to go this way. So, hang on. Nope. All right, we're gonna do this other way because I wanna do it the correct way. Show you how they go together. I should have just done it before. There we go. Okay, one B on the bottom. Cassandra said, yes, I ordered one after watching your video and I love it. Good, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Trisha said she has two of those pencils. Only ones I use now, thanks for the recommendation. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Okay, so we got one B there, Cascade Trails. I'm gonna put one A right on top. So if you go to trace them, there is a difference, but you wanna, whatever template that will butt back together, you want to do that as much as possible because it saves cutting. So, I mean, I could have used that down there and just retraced another one, but gonna do it the right way. All right, put those there. I'm going to grab my scissors. 
So did y'all have a nice Father's Day? Oh, these are the Tim Holtz. Oh, and I just figured out something else too. Remember I told you guys about the teeth, that the teeth are there for sharpening? Well, the other day I was cutting with them and I always have to turn and look and see if it's upside down or right side up. But the writing, if you, there's no writing on one side, writing on the other. So if you put the writing towards you, the teeth are always down. How about that? After all this time, how many years have I had these scissors? Goodness. And I knew about the teeth, but, oops. I didn't figure out until the other day that if I put the writing towards me, then all is good. I'm gonna save that piece, but I'm gonna whack this one off. That'll be nice for a card, love that. I'm gonna cut the bottom one. And this is that close to my heart, mix in May and June. Oh, guess what I also did this afternoon. On the way uh, to the pottery uh, place, they had fresh strawberries. So I stopped and we got a flat of strawberries. So tonight after I get done here, we're gonna go out and put some strawberries up. They're so good. They're just coming on here. And uh, they're, they're really sweet this year. Okay, there we go. One A was on top. One B was on the bottom. All right, there's that. Now to do the other ones. So I don't want it going this way. Well, let's see. Do we want it this way, or do we want it this way? Hmm. We'll do it this way. All right. So now what I'm going to do? I can do this one of two ways. I can just cut a square piece to go underneath, or I could take my cascade trails, put it on, trace the edge of it, and just leave a little extra on the bottom. So I think I, because I'm wondering if, oh, I have another idea. Awesome. Let's do that. Let's cut it so that it goes on the bottom like this. I have an idea. Could be kind of fun. All right. Trisha said they had strawberry shortcake yesterday. Ooh, that's so Sandra good. said she got the Tim Holt scissors and she loves them too. She said I have creative memory ones too and I like them. I did not like the cutter beans much. I have the creative memories ones that were made years and years and years ago. And um, I like using them. Actually, I throw them in with my card stuff. So I use them with that. But um, my cutter bee, I agree. I am not a cutter bee fan. All right, so this one. Trisha also said a six month old grandbaby came to church for the first time with us. Uh, she went swimming in her other grandparents' swimming pool for the first time. Jumping awesome. off the high dive. No, not really. <laughs> no, not really on the high dive. But she did go swimming for the first time. So. Uh, okay, so we've got three and a quarter, three and a half. All right, so I gotta go three and a half up. Oop. Rather good metric. Oh no, I never could get metric. I don't know why, but I never could. We were at the age where they were talking about transferring everything over to the metric at one point. I, and learned both were, I, I know you did. You're a smart man. No. Yeah, you are. Ooh, Should have told him no. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Gibbs wants to know where did you get the pencil? The pencil. I got it at Office Max. Office Max. Let's see here. Hmm. One. Hmm. 
Mm, we're just gonna look at this see here. Mm. I am measuring. Let's see. There we go. One. And if it doesn't work, we could just shorten up the other one. Okay, here we go. But I have an idea. Cassandra said Amazon has it also. Hmm. Didn't know that. Tell you what, it's one Trish of Trish says, can't you use the side you cut from? And nope. Just, and just make a straight cut? Well, no, because it would be on top. It has to be underneath. Here, let me show you. So this is the one I cut, right? But I guess I could. Oh, you guys are so smart. It's been a long day. That's okay. I'll just cut it. One for Tricia. <laughs> right? Yep, you guys got it. See, you are pros out there, I tell you. What's the name of the pencil again? Uh, Uni Tycoga. Uni Kuru. K U R U T O G A. Zero, uh, 0 0.5. Which is metric. Yep. So I'm going to use this later. That reminds me of the streamers that we have. Okay. Karen Franks is hi from Allen, Texas. Hello. Okay, but my idea is, I'm gonna find what I did with it. should give you a big smiley emoji. <laughs> hey, I am burnt out playing with a three month old puppy, dealing with a death in the family, and then playing with my grandkids today. I'm burnt out. So appreciate you guys. You keeping me and on the cranky up and old up man, huh? And a cranky old man. Yep. Okay, so just gonna line that up. All right. Put fish in there. Looks like you're skating on water. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Or the boardwalk. Okay. So now, what did I do with the paper? I just had it. Oh, what did I do with the paper? Oh, here it is. Did one of them days. Okay. So this, I think we're going to use this one. Let's use these on the rings. What's on the other side? Oh, the hearts. Let's use that one. What was on? Oh, that was the quilt. Yeah, let's do the rings on this. You're so, do right on top, you're going to do slice, slice, flip. Oh, this or? is white. I can see this. I can see it. And you also have to ink it yet. Yep. Okay, you're going to do the inside. So again, the other layout was used in a conventional skateboard where this one is with your skateboards. Just a different format of skateboarding. Okay, there's that one. And I think we'll do this one. Uh, and I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna cut that because I want that big circle. I have another project that I can use that for. There we go. Now. See, what else can we ask them, Lee? You're awful quiet. I'm what watching else? you cut. <laughs> Are you afraid I'm going to cut my finger? Well, you said you're tired and you got white paper polka dots. <laughs> <You're laughs> <You're red polka -dots laughs> Not going to happen. Not gonna happen. Then they have to watch me stitch you up. I can use a fish hook and some thread. And... You know, I have never cut my finger with scissors. Never. Not even grade school do I remember cutting myself. Okay, that was gonna go in the trash. All right, you guys all know how to cut the insides of the circle, right? Cut one side up. Because we are going to cover that up anyway. Okay. 
this is really pretty paper, I have to say. You guys probably can't see it as good as I can. We've got our big light up here, our ring light, and I try to get it adjusted so the colors are as true as possible. But this paper, close to my heart, did a nice job on this set. I want that one later. Let's trim it just a tad here. There we go. All right. And then see, that's going to cover it. And that's going to go there. By the way, this background paper um, is from AC Cardstock. It's just a craft, a craft paper. So. Cassandra wants to know, can you still buy the All-Star set? Yes. All-Star set is still available, I do believe. And um, I'll pull it out here and I'll show you what all comes with it. I just showed you the two pieces. Well, they asked us to do a skateboard so for today. So I'm assuming now, it's why still is it available. Today? I don't know. Good question. This is National Skateboard Day, you uh, said earlier, right? Yeah. Okay, let me pull them out and I'll show you what all comes in it. It's a lot of fun. It has a football. So that's number six. Hold up so I can see it. Okay. This one. And we have number five, which is a pair of roller blades. Or if you cut this off, cut and just kind of cut this down a little bit, because that'd be a toe stop. Then you got roller skates. And then you have a trophy, which is really cool if you take this. Looks kind of like a chalice. Well, you. I'm going to tell you something else too. Believe it or not, I've done this. For any of you who like margaritas, you cut this little strip off here and just make it even all the way across. That is the most cutest little margarita glass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but you can do this. If you want, you can put a star on top, make it a trophy that way. But yeah. Okay. So anyone or daiquiris or anything that comes in those glasses like you get at the or like red the, lobster the disciple of christ church and with the... oh yeah it could be a shot a chalice too and then it comes with this here it's a megaphone however if you cut this off it's also it could be a clown hat or i've used it as a road cone so yeah and then we have the all-star three the flag and there's lots of good uses for this too. And the number two is the skateboard. And number one is the shirt. Is the shirt. Yep. T-shirt. Yep. I think it's a Hanes. <laughs> you sure it's not Fruit of the Loom? Could be. <laughs> oh, shoot. You are so funny. Oh. So you guys. So you got a question from Leslie. All right. And uh, it is possible. She wants to know, so do I need this set just to make a margarita? <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Um, I'll let you answer that. <laughs> but, but we might have to practice using that one. But you know, I mean, you might look at it and say, well, that's all sports theme. I don't, I can't do anything with that. Oh, yes, you can. In the football, it makes a nice little egg too especially if you want to set it up on its end, you know, and do a flat end. Okay. Hey, that's pretty cute. I kind of like that. I'm not so sure if I like the background paper yet, but I may change it. We'll see. I'm going to have to mix some of this brown. It's kind of neutral, makes the black and the blue kind of pop a little bit. Yeah, it does. Okay. So it makes the that. white stand out. Well, let's see what else we got here. Okay. So we got this one. We got the tags. We got arrow stripes and we got this so well dear i think that. we need to use this so it's a little darker and maybe do this that won't clash with your brown background will it? nope well like i said i might change that i've got some blue down here too that's kind of pretty i might do that but let's do this yep Over into that And 
What else can we tell them? It's kind of like we've been going 100 miles an hour and then all of a sudden we just did I'm still thinking about Leslie's comment about making a margarita. <laughs> I don't think I have mixins. I'll be back. I don't have mixins for a margarita. I'm sorry. You got the template. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, and then if you want to do like the salt on top, they make this stuff. I've got some somewhere. It's um, it makes snow when you put it on. It's kind of like a glue pen, but then um, if you put your embossing gun on it, it turns it into like puffed up snow. So that would be cute to put on the edge for your margarita glass. Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna have to do a page because I have pictures of my niece and I up here at the Mexican restaurant. We ordered margaritas and uh so i'm gonna have to do a page i might see if i can get that done tomorrow and show it tomorrow night with the margaritas that would be fun and then using the school with the light bulb for being outside eating oh yeah with the okay guys you got to turn in tomorrow you got my my juices running here so Just don't get them on the paper don't get them on the paper Leslie said, it's a snow marker and I have it. Yeah, that's it. I got one in my pen box. Cassandra right says, no, you need to wait to save that for a live. <laughs> it is live tomorrow night. I am doing a live. So we might do that. We might just pull it out and we can do that. So and that's 6 p.m. Central time. Tomorrow? Yep, 6 p.m. Central. So and I believe, your, was it yesterday or is it today the longest day of the year? Yesterday when, was the longest day of the year. When the sun crosses and, and the solace. Yep. So, so we're heading towards winter. Got to go change oil in the snowblower? Mm, no, not yet. We still got a couple trips yet we got to do with the motorhome. Oh, speaking of that, so we went out to North Dakota on our motorhome. We went through this construction area and the pilot car took us through and took us through tar and asphalt. So now we have a royal mess on our RV. Not happy one bit. <coughs> so I have to put some over here in the brown window guy. Well, let's just do this little old star right here. All right. You guys get to see my scrapbooking at work here without doing it beforehand. A little nervous about it. Most of the time, I'd say 99.9% .9 everything turns out. But then there's just that one little time that i'm like oh i well, wish i would have done that hung up over your head just let me know and I'll oh you'll take care of it, it oh i appreciate that i appreciate that this paper isn't as thick as like our kiwi lane but it's not bad i like the pattern oh speaking of paper did you guys get your kit i had to wait till i got back and and uh, get mine, but oh my gosh, their monthly kit is fabulous. I love it because I mean that's something Lee and I we can use when I when we travel. It's it's gonna be great. So Nikki wants to know where do y'all live? We are in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It is on the Cedar River, and we are approximately what? Two and 120 and miles east of Des Moines, and about 20 miles north of I-80, Interstate 80. Yeah. That snows here. It's too darn cold. I wish we lived south of the Mason Dixon line. <sighs> someday we will. Yeah. Okay, so I got to get this one. And what do I want to put that out of? Hmm. Let's see what the back of this looks like. 
Let me get that other paper. I just don't know if I like that craft paper. Let's see what we got here. I picked this one up. I may like it and I may not, but I think I do. Because then I can use the craft paper. Cassandra says we have family in Newton and Colfax. Ah. Went too awful long ago. I heard somebody had a winning lottery ticket in Colfax. Maybe it wasn't a uh, full jackpot, but I think they had like five of the six numbers or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, not our luck. Oh, what did we well, get? Well, both those communities on your way to Des Moines. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next. There it is. I think I like the blue better, guys. Right on. Yep, I'm positive. Oh, I think I hear Gracie. How many of you remember or have a puppy? And uh, right now, I tell you what, I have forgotten how much work <laughs> it was to take care of a puppy. Oh my goodness. She is just a bundle of energy. And on both of our arms, Lee's and my arms, are uh, kind of chewed up. Nikki said, cool, your travels to the Dakotas are kind of in my neck of the woods. Rapid City, South Dakota is about three and a half hours from us. Uh, so where are you at? What town? Cassandra says, our uncle's a snap-on tools dealer. Ooh, I have a friend who is that. Used to live in Burlington. Okay. I like that better. You guys like that better? And then we can use this for some background. Let's do the star in the craft. See, what else can I tell them what's going on? Um, it actually rained yesterday a little bit, which yeah. is something we haven't had much of recently. They're cutting all of our trees in our backyard down. The city of Hiawatha is along the creek from our derecho. My gosh, you guys, it, it's so sad to see all the forest just disappear. It's, it's so sad. It's so sad. And it's city property, so yep. the bet is outside of our property. But uh... Nikki said, I'm in Torrington, Wyoming, a little over an hour north and east of Cheyenne. Oh, beautiful country there. Actually, our RD, uh, the FMCA, the Family Motor Courts association has their big uh, thing coming up here right for july 4th uh, in, and gillette. It's in gillette we're not able to go this year but that's nope. pretty close to where you're at and i've been to some of the coal mines in uh out in that area around gillette so sandra says your layout looks great and i like it better but i liked it the other way too <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could do one one way and one the other, kind of like the dogs yeah, that have the blue could. eye and they have the other eye. You want me to be quiet? You just got to no. I don't want you to me. be quiet. I never want you to be quiet. You know that. Well, you know, I wouldn't be anyway. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do one out of the blue. What did with Mister? I just had him. I just had him. There he Sandra is. said, "I'm full of stories." <laughs> Unlike Linda tells me, I'm full of it too, but not stories. Uh, we got like seven inches of rain on Friday in our basement, which is finished, got water in it, so we are currently drying it out. My scrapbook Ooh. room is down there, but luckily it is all dry in that part. That's good news. Yeah. Okay. It's nice and dry. We had that uh, happen once. We bought a house in Burlington, Iowa. And it was a tri-level house and the bottom part had um, the big living room, a bathroom, and then it had another room. Well, we turned, we had my mom and dad living with us and we turned that little room into like a little kitchenette for her. Well, um, <laughs> it started to rain and all of a sudden 
water starts coming out the, the walls and alongside the bottom of the walls. So I had to uh, do some investigating and the people disclosed that there was no leaking in the basement. But we're like, um, we are suctioning, suctioning it out with a wet dry and it ain't good. It is not good at all. So actually that one on the back wall was like underground. So it's like in the side of a hill. And for what they used on this house for the foundation, they used cinder block. And I think all that clay over the years had put pressure against that cinder block and actually had it curved a little bit like kind of concave. And the joints, it was kind of easing through there. So they had to come in and do that system where they actually drill the holes and kind of cause it to leak and put it like into a trench to a sump and to help take some of that pressure off that wall. Never had no more issues after that. Nope. And we had our attorney just write a nice little letter to the people that had <laughs> on the house and they sent us a check to cover the cost for it. Yep. It was a few thousand dollars, wasn't that? Oh, it was terrible. Half they had to bust up the floor and then put this drain in and ugh. But it was nice once they were done. Not good. All right, how are you guys liking this? Can you see it? I ain't got it scoot over too far, do I? I think I do. Let me get it back in center. You guys gotta tell me when it's all out of focus here. I've also been working on my paper stash, getting it, uh, the, like the paper packs. I have quite a few of them yet. So I've been organizing them and putting them in individual bags, so to speak. So when I get ready to travel, I just got to grab a few and roll. Okay, I can fix that later. Let me get this cut out. All righty. Well, good luck with that, Cassandra, having somebody look at that. I agree. It's a lot of rain, but it set up right. It shouldn't leak like that. Yeah. Leslie says, I love the colors, thinking outside of the box. Yep. Well, I just, I was looking for some paper and I'm like, oh, wait, I had that blue and brown. I've been wanting to use it and... Looks so, like a wiener mobile is what that skateboard looks like. No. Oscar Mayer wiener. You know what? It does. And we've what seen the wiener mobile. Okay, Madison, guys. Wisconsin. Here we go. You know what? This would make a really cute the wiener whistle. How many guys remember the Oscar Mayer wiener whistle? Gosh, I remember that as a kid having that. Okay, so we got one here. And my baloney's got a first. Oh one. Lord, have mercy, honey. Don't do that. <laughs> and I think we'll do one out of the grape. I wonder if there's any. O S C A R. Wonderful. Loving. Trying to decide which tags I don't want. And let's make a, another skateboard out of this. My baloney's got a second name. <laughs> it's M A Y E R. Oh, I love to eat it every day. If you ask me why, I'll say Oscar Mayer has a way with B-O-L-O-G-N-A. And no, we did not get paid to advertise. All right. You know, this paper, I could have used a pinwheel. Mm. Or you could cut the wheels off that skateboard and make it heck of a big old broad or a hot wheel. Oh, that's a good idea. Put it on a bun. That's a really monster. good idea. You guys yeah, could use that a... for a hot dog or a hot dog. Bun. Oh my gosh, we are going to, you got me just thinking, thinking, thinking. Do you guys ever do that? You look at the templates for a while and you say, oh, that could be, a, you know, something and. Well, that depends if you had the margarita first before you started looking at it. <laughs> no, I can't tell you. That. Well, the last time I had a margarita was two two years ago it's been this while. Christmas. Nikki says, Christmas. now you know that song's going to be stuck in my head <laughs> all night. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. But yes, you're right. It's probably going to be stuck in your head. <laughs> mm. What time we got? Oh gosh, we're only at seven o'clock. Good. I was hoping we wouldn't be too late here. I won't keep you guys too long tonight. I'll probably get it all laid out and finish it up. All right, so we got a skateboard here. We got a skateboard there. And that's really cute. Oh, we could probably just do it right now. Or you can make it almost like a little lizard if you made this a little more pointed back here. Well, look, if you and turn it over, you got a hat with ears. It's like a Mexican sombrero. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of cute. All right, let's do some inking and see what it's going to look like. Find my ink dauber. Yeah, Tim Holtz distressed vintage photo. Oh, did you guys know they got them back in stock now? So hopefully you can get yours if you're running out. I, I get the re inker and keep them. Moist. Keep them. Yep. I have about, believe it or not, I have probably three of these just sling here on my table. And when one starts to get dry, I just go to the next one. And then at the very end of the day, just re ink. My sponge is getting a little, I guess I should change it. Bologna's oh no, fish. don't do that. You had bologna for lunch. I went and had Mo's taco and you got bologna. He was still working, so all right. There's that one. Oh, let's see. Here you are. You're not gonna forget that either, are you? I'm gonna be dreaming about hot dogs. Like I cream. love hot dogs. This, like we have a place here in town it's called the flying weenie and it it has a bunch of airplane um actual Memorial yeah but actual like plane parts and parts hanging yep and they used to have flight uh mats maps on the tables and then they rosined over it oh my gosh it was so interesting you could sit there and, oh and they had homemade french fries which is good too but you can sit there and eat your lunch and just plan a trip by the maps. It, it's, it was phenomenal. There's that one. That one. I'm going to do this guy. And this is a Tim Holtz. I can't use the finger one. I have arthritis really bad in that finger. It's been broke so many times when I was a gymnast in high school. And... Uh, it just won't let me put a dauber on it. So I tried, but I like this because I can flip it and turn it. And these are by Tim Holtz. And then you can change the little the foam head. piece. Yep. So there was something else I was going to tell them tonight. Oh, what? I told you about the gator, right? Yeah, I told you we're going to make a gator tomorrow. Night. tomorrow night yep that was so much fun when i first saw that the, the template that they released i'm like oh that is a gator that is a gator so our grandson's name is maxwell and he max for short yep my little man, but now since he's older, I had to change it. Every one of our grandkids get a, a nickname when they're born. His was little man, but he told me I'm not little anymore. So I call him Maximus. He doesn't mind that one. So, but we have Maximus, we have Blingy Girl, we have Sugar Pie, the Munchkin, G-Man and Jelly Bean. Um, I really like this paper here, the pattern. That's kind of cool. I like the hot dog template. <laughs> Can you tell we have not eaten dinner yet tonight? We're thinking about food. 
Oh my goodness. So. Oh, let's see. What else has been going on? Well, we talked about uh, Cedar Rapids. Uh, we have quite a few things to see around this area. If you've ever been to Des Moines, there's the bridges of Madison County. The, That's south of Des Moines a little bit. Yep. There's a, a in that same county is where John Wayne was born. Yep. That's what I was gonna say. John Wayne was born there, and there's a museum there. There's also right not too far, right around there, there's a great winery and a berry farm makes the best raspberry jelly you ever ate. And it is um, oh, what's the name of the berry farm? The winery is Somerset Winery. And they make the best great Concord grape wine. It's it's phenomenal. I mean, it's it's like drinking grape juice. You have to be careful. You don't want to drink too much. So, so what's uh, east of us and north just a little bit? We have Dyersville where the Field of Dreams was uh, filmed. filmed. We also have the Ertl Toy Factory Museum, which is, is really, really cool to go through. And what else do we have? Oh, we have uh, the world's largest frying pan just north of us up here. So they claim. So they claim. We have never seen it, but they supposedly they do. And, and the we, have, we have we we have the Amana colonies, which was um, Swiss Swiss settlement, and they built this canal and did all of their uh, trading and moving and stuff up this canal. So true commune yep. had a society, the Amana society, which still existed up until the mid seventies, from what I understand. Yep. And where they all used to farm and you had big uh, uh, mess halls where some people took care of their responsibilities, fixed food and other ones were to grow the food and other ones uh, sheared the sheep and they have a woolen mill that's still there. They still make woolen things. There's a brewery, there's a meat shop where they still smoke oh, the meats. They're hams, oh my goodness. And they're like like summer sausages and oh, See, you're back and on sauerkraut. Again. Yeah, food again. And get weenies sour there too and hot dogs. Oh, yeah. And then they make the best horseradish mustard. Now I know you probably saying horseradish, you, but they it is it is so it's a good. good. Hot mustard. It is good. And it's but not it really that hot. Yeah, it don't burn you too bad. No, nope, it don't. And Cassandra said, and made rights. Yes, we have those. Yes, and we there. have made rights. In fact, I think they used to say the first made right was uh, the in uh, Marshalltown. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. We've been there. You built a power plant there. Yes, I did. Okay. I think I got it all eight. And if any of you ever been to a made right, they, you don't, I don't know if they even have ketchup in a made right. Mm -mm. You know, as far as getting it, they have mustard things you can put on your sandwich, but I don't think you can get ketchup there. Now, I'm probably going to have to cut some of this off because this paper is a little short. Years ago, you never got true 12 by 12 paper. Why? Don't know. But they it's never metric. gave it to you. It's metric. <laughs> Listen to you. You're so funny. You got a better answer? Nope. Don't have a better answer. Sure don't. Is that your chair squeaking? Yep. Okay. I thought it was Gracie at first. Okay. Here's one. I'm going to put this other one down. You guys think I make a real mess here, huh? Look at all this. All right. I did eat this, didn't I? No, I did not. Oops. I'm like, this doesn't feel right. So we go back. We'll eat this one real quick. I probably didn't eat that other black and white one either. See, what else do we have in Iowa? Just across the Minnesota border, we have the Spam Museum. If you've never been there. Even if you don't like Spam, you need to go. It, it's really, really interesting. 
And the House on the Rock isn't too far from us. In Wisconsin. In Wisconsin. And Not there's... too far from the Spam Museum, there's the Gala Jolly Green Giant, you know? Yep. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Green, yeah. Now you're gonna make Trisha sing another song. Do you like your ATG gun? Cassandra okay. Wants to know. Well, yes and no. Okay, yes, I do like it, but there are times where it's bulky, you know. But yes, I do like it. You gotta make sure that's where you want to put it once you put put it on there. Though, yep. To the exactly. Okay, let me eat this one. I didn't get this one done. Did I? Nope, I did it. And which side goes up? Yep. I do remember that. And I remember which one goes on which side. Even if it's black, girls, go ahead and ink it because you can actually see a little bit of the brown. And it also takes off those imperfections that we leave unintentionally so all right here we go the hardest part of of the atg gun when i first got it was uh, loading the new stuff in the new tape in it but other than that it's it's like i said the bulkiness that's probably the worst part Make sure I get this about right. We'll give it a shot. All right. Inked it. I inked it. Sure. I'm positive. I'm a hundred percent positive. Well, Shell said she said I found your pencil at Michael and loves it. Really, at Michael's? Huh. Ours was close for a long time. So they yeah, from the derecho. Cassandra said, my favorite tape for runners creative memories. Oh, yeah. Love that, too. But I've never tried the ATG. Sharon says, I learned to put refills for ATG gun from a video that Leslie Printy did. I think that's where I did, too. I mean, our scrapbook store where I bought it, uh, she showed me how to do it, too, but of course, it just kind of goes in one ear and oh, 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 well, out so the quick. other. Yeah. yeah, I can't remember where I wanted that. When you cut your your rings, make sure you be careful where you put the the seam. seam. Yes, the seam. I mean, this stuff it's sticky, and so if you want something that is permanent, the ATG gun is the way to go. Okay. All righty, we're getting. Rochelle there. says, and the white eraser works good too. Yes, it does. It's really good. Let's see if I got it right. Oh, look at there! I did it right. I yeah, it's every dog. other prong, so you have a five prong. Isn't that cool? It has ten. I like that. You can do some neat Christmas stuff with that. Hmm. Oh, speaking of Christmas. So I don't know if I ever guys told you, you know, you have your Easter egg hunt at Easter. Well, we did a candy cane hunt. We took the candy cane from one of our templates and we cut them all out. And then the grandkids got to go around and find the candy canes. Picture scene? Yep. And then they brought them in. Yes, there. And grandpa exchanged them for dollars mm, i'm gonna hold off on that one real quick let me get the rest of the stuff and so then they had one big special one that they had to find and uh that one they got five dollars for so that was so much fun oh my gosh that was so much fun they even want to do it again this next year so oh that was gracie i heard her you're fine, girl. She's fine. She'll make it. Okay. Oh, goodness. Poor baby. And then we'll do that there. Perfect. All right. 
I do rather much like doing girly pictures than masculine, I have to admit, but I love the subject matter. I love my grandkids. I've got to do one on Legos. My other grandson, he's in big, big into Legos. Oh my goodness, she's gonna let us know she wants out of there. Well, it's almost 7.30. Yeah, I already fed her supper. So, she's good there. I gotta tell you, our little dog, she she's so sweet. She goes to bed, she sleeps with us right between our pillows. And in the morning, Lee gets a uh, an ear wash. That's her big thing, giving daddy an ear wash. So my daughter brought her her dog with today it's a puggle and she's like 14 15 years old so gracie had a little playmate today cassandra says i feel like there are more templates that work for girls than for boys yeah a little bit but you know i have put a lot of flowers on boy pages i love flowers forgot today at the meeting they told us what the name of the next one comes out uh monthly kit but i know that they're shipping out so i can't wait for the new one just a tad yeah that'll work because i'm gonna put that there perfect that'll work You're almost done. Put that right over the seam. This one. I like that. Look at that, girls. We almost got the layout done. And then over here, I am going to Put a title. Two skateboards. You don't want that there. I don't want it up there. I'm moving. I keep feeling like I'm sliding towards Lee. I think I'm going to put it here. And do I want to map that? Yes, I am going to take this little piece. And I think I can map it. Oh, yes, I can. This is a four by four. It's not going to be an <coughs> easy one, but I'm going to So, what kind of cutter do you guys all use? I may have this asked that before. Matting, looks like. A what? Ad libbing. Ad libbing? Oh, this? Yeah. Yes, it is ad libbing. I am definitely ad libbing. That's what scrapbooking is fun. When you don't have a real <coughs> plan and you just go with it. Yeah, like that. Okay, let me get my ink. I appreciate you guys sticking around here and doing this tonight. I was hoping to have it done, but this is fun. Just you guys can see how it actually goes from beginning to end. And you use the same templates as what I did on the other one, which is amazing. And then I got my skateboard here. Let's see if I can put it in. Sandra says, Creative Memories Cutter, but I really want the cutter filler. Sharon says, Creative Memories New Paper Trimmer. I just got that. Do you guys like that with all the blades? Laura said, I use a cutter filler. Lisa says, Fiskers and Tim Holtz Guillotine Cutters. I've never tried that. I've heard about it. 
Sandra says, the new creative memory one, I should say. It is great. Awesome. Yeah. Jay says, cutter pillar. I have the cutter pillar. I had to call the company, though. Mine, actually, the blade and the, the bar that it cuts on had little burrs on it, little metal burrs, and it wouldn't cut. So I called them, and they actually sent me all the parts to replace it. So now I have to go out and uh, watch a video to get it put on. Okay. So we have one. And K is from Durant, Oklahoma. Oh, I know where that's at. I am going to ink this. You guys probably see me ink my pictures. I like the little bit of a brown on there. You don't have to, but the when i cut them it kind of leaves a little white and i don't want to see that so i just take my dauber and i go around and yep just give it a little something something have to try it sometime if you've never done it give it a shot okay and i think i'm gonna put that right there i like that okay well there we go and then i'll do some little Doodaddies and some doodling. And it's done. All but the title. I've got some letters. I'll title it. Do some doodling, like I said. And how about that? You guys like that? So once again, I'm going to show you the other one. Lisa said cute. And like I said, I'll, I'll dress it up a little bit. When I post it, you'll see it, how it's it finishes. So there's that one. And again, Very here cute. is Looks this one. great. And there's the other one. It's great. So get your, get your hands on an all-star and the adventure. Uh, it's really fun. The, the, the templates are really, really fun. So, well, I think that's it, guys. You got any more questions or anything, just let me know. And, uh, and you'll have all your contact information yep. on the posting. Yep. And then uh, you guys, we will look for you tomorrow night. If you got time, join us. I think you're going to like what I got for you. So anyway. And thanks, Carrie. You guys are the greatest. Thanks again. We're going to say goodnight. Bye.